Street, green flag in the air. Three wide racing as they work their way through three and four. May get some momentum, he pulls to the outside. Joey Legato tries to block. Right there, Ryan Scott. Scott. But Ryan Scott looked as though he blew a tire. Oh, problems. Strange things continue to happen. right there. Today, the faces of ARCA will be focused on making the right moves at the right time. Watching in the mirror while glancing ahead. Is there a familiar face that I can work with to go to the front and possibly get that first win? Or will it be Steve Arpin going for three in a row on his way to his first championship? We are in Talladega, Alabama. Welcome to the ARCA Racing Series presented by Remax and Menards. It's the Talladega Arca 250 from the Talladega Super Speedway. Gorgeous afternoon, 82 degrees, the sun beating down on this huge racetrack. Not the way it was a week ago when we were in Texas. The first Arca race in Texas since 1998 started off as a wet one with qualifying being rained out. Nelson P.K. Jr. will start on the pole. It is Nelson P.K. and Justin Marks bringing the field to the green flag. Oh, Mikey Kyle got sideways. Mikey Kyle, he catches Joey Coulter. Did Steve Arpin get caught in it? Yes, he did in the 55. Guys, the right front rub is what they're most worried about. Again, they tried to get the left front fender out, but as the car went down, a bit of confusion for Arpin. The Metro Lemonade Chevrolet most likely will come back on pit road. Steve Arpin has the strong car. We've seen it. The 55 is two cars back right there in second. There you see the gap getting closed. Here goes Arpin to the outside for the lead. Arpin trying to get his second win in a row as he comes out of four. Arpin will win again. Two wins in just four races put Steve Arpin on top of the charts. Just five points back, Justin Marks. That's because he qualified better than Steve today. He was in the top three in qualifying. Patrick Shelter, Rob Brent, Brian Silas making up your top five and a tie for that fifth spot with Tom Hessert. Now let's go trackside for one of our big stories today and Jim Trado. Rick, it's going to be a story of who may win this race. There's been 48 ARCA Racing Series races here at Talladega since the first year of this racetrack in 1969. 31 drivers have won races here under the ARCA banner, including veterans Bobby Gerhardt and Frank Kimmel in the field today. Who will be the 32nd on that list? Very likely a young driver. Yesterday, stealing the headlines wearing the Menards Pole Award presented by Ansel is Dakota Armstrong at just 18 years of age, captures the pole, is a strong contender for the REMAX Rookie of the Year as well, but it's got to be a lot of pressure on this young man. Let's step in with Dakota. And Dakota, just 18, a Penske development driver. A lot of people are probably giving you advice about this big speedway. What are they telling you, and what's the team's plan early on here to be in contention to win today? Well, I think the uh, the biggest thing everyone's telling me is get a good get a good start and then just stay on the bottom. You know, we're uh, we're planning is to stay out front until that first uh, first yellow, and then I think we're just going to do one pit. I think we can make it on one pit stall, and then uh, I think we'll be good after that. We shall see these young faces joined in the first three rows by three other drivers. Make that eight drivers under the age of 25 years of age. That's the average age of the guys starting the first four rows. So I think it's going to be pretty crazy to see Dakota Armstrong leading the green. We'll see how this youthful exuberance will play out up front. Now let's check in with Wendy, Wendy Venturini. Thanks, Jim. Steve Arpin's one of those guys, 26 years old. Let me explain the last two weeks. He has back-to-back -back wins in ARCA. He signs on with Mike's Hard Lemonade, followed up by signing with Junior Motorsports. Your nationwide debut this weekend. You're the points leader in ARCA. It just gets better and better. How are you handling all of this? These weeks, these last two weeks couldn't be going better. I don't think my feet have touched the ground. It's been absolutely incredible. Uh, our Mike's Hard Lemonade Toyota is absolutely incredible today. Uh, we thought we had a shot at the pole, but we were a couple tenths off, so that's all right. The car drives great in the draft. We're uh, 
My teammates up front there on the outside second row, and we got three other teammates in the back. So we're just going to try and team up and work together. And it doesn't matter what happens all the way through the race today. It's as long as you're there at the end. So anything can happen here at Talladega. So we're going to be there at the end and make a charge for it. All right, good luck to Steve Arpin. They did not focus on single car runs. It was only in the draft. They were fast in testing. They've been fast this weekend. Steve Arpin starts fifth. Well, thank you, Wendy. Rick Allen alongside a former Talladega winner. You've been to Victory Lane here, Phil Parsons. What are we going to expect out of today's ARCA race at this track? A little bit of everything. We heard the guys talking about two wide, three wide, four wide. There's going to be action all around this racetrack. James Finch, who owns James Busher, numbers 51 car, he said he told his kids to put their helmets on and back away from the TV because it's <laughs> going to be that wild. This is one of the greatest racetracks in all the world, and it's such a thrill to race here and, and to be able to win here. And we've got so many young guys along with some some veterans like Bill Baird and Frank Kimmel trying to get to victory lane. It's going to be a great show. Now, what does it take to get to victory lane? Do you have to pick the right line or, or what is going to be that magic, uh, I guess, ingredient that gets you into victory lane? Well, we saw Bobby Gerhardt and his brother Billy use pitch strategy to stay out late at Daytona to get to victory lane. He's won there six times. He's in this field. He's won here before and they're going to play it the same way. They're going to go run this way backwards. 94 laps, you back it in the, into your window. When you can make it the rest of the way, you stop and then you're done stopping to get that track position but we ha we've seen guys come from 18th to, to the win in three or four laps here before so there is no set strategy you just have to be in the right place at the right time and we like to talk about this being a family sport and definitely a family series Larry McReynolds one of our broadcast partner his son is actually racing in this race Brandon McReynolds is now with Jim starting at 18 years of age in the 18th position here in the uh Eddie Sharp Racing Championship car of a year ago. Brandon, talk about your thoughts as we're about to go green on your first Super Speedway Arca star. It'll be cool. You know, uh, I think we got a real good car. Wayne and all the guys did a real, really good job on this car. We didn't really get the qualifying run we wanted, but, uh, you know, today's the day that pays the big money, so we'll see what we can do. He certainly wants to join his godfather, Davey Allison, as a winner here at Talladega in the Arca Series. You see the Walk of Fame, Davey Allison Memorial. We heard... Brandon McReynolds is the godson of Davey Allison, and he was actually in Victory Lane when he was one year old, so he'd like to get back there. This is downtown Talladega. They have a great thing right in the square there. I know my, uh, I was there to an accept award for my brother Benny a couple years ago. Just a great job here, and uh, obviously named after Davey Allison, one of the, uh, Alabama's favorite sons. And that is the Walk of Fame here in Talladega. So the drivers are strapping in, getting ready for the command. The pre-race ceremony is about to get underway. Stay with us here on Speed. We've got racing next.